Alright everyone, today we will be testing the Faraday 6226W. There's two of them, obviously. I know, I keep making double trouble videos. Well, why not? <laughs> so let's get this over with. In three, two, one. Alright, one of them's sounding, so there's probably something wrong with the wiring. Anyways, that's it for now. Yeah, I was right. There was something wrong with the wiring in this case. I accidentally uh, flipped the terminals on this one. Um, well, positive was negative, and negative was positive. It, it normally doesn't harm the alarm, so I should be good. So, anyways, let's test both of them now. Three, two, one. Anyways, that's it for now. Now to test it with a pulse station, we have a Cerberus Pyrotronics um, MS151. Normally it would just be Pyrotronics, but I have a Cerberus Pyrotronics model. Now I do have it mounted on a back box because it is kind of difficult to pull. Well, not in terms of how many uh, pounds of force you have to use. It is pretty e easy to pull if it's mounted on a wall, but it is kind of awkward to pull if it's not. I find it ironic that it's easy to reset even though it's hard to pull. So with that in mind, here we go. Three, two, one. See? Just springs up like that. I'll give you another demo. There you go. It's just that easy. There's the back box that I was telling you about. Anyways, that's it.